Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Today we'll be talking about missing values in our programming. Okay, first let's open the R Studio. So we select five missing values. So missing values plays a very important role in statistic and data analysis. And uh, during the data pre-processing stage, we have to handle the missing values. So in R, there's a few type of missing values. And here we will look at how these uh, missing values are being handled in R, how to identify them, and what are the different type of missing values in R. OK. So in R, NA is used to represent any value that is not available. Either it can be a name, a string, and my same is a name, or it can be a number. So my salary is not is missing, uh, so it's not available. So in R, it's represented as NA. So let's first create a uh, variable called x. x equals to my so four values, 44 and 8, 5 and 8. So now we use x min times 3. So element wise, what is the value? So one. <clears throat> 44 times 3, and 8 times 3 is still and 8. 5 times 3 equal to 15. Yeah? And 8 times 3 equal to and 8. Then the second is we create a 1000 long vector contains a lot of random numbers draw from a normal distribution. Second, you create another vector, z, which is 1008. 1008, missing value repeat 1000 times. So now we have 2000 values. Now we randomly sample or draw 100 values from the combined y and the z. So install it into my data. Data equal to a sample. We use a sample function to randomly sample it. C combine y and the z. And how many number of values we want? 100. 100. Okay. Now we can have a look at my data. Let's have a look at my data. So this is my data. So some of the are NA, some are not NA. So now we check, we use this function called isNA function to find out each element in my data, whether it is a missing or not missing. So as we can see, the first NA is true, that means it's missing. The second is NA, that's true, missing. Then the third one is not a and a, so it becomes false. False. And we assign this value to my and a. And a. It contains all the logical values. Okay, print my and a. True, true, false, 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 false. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. You might wonder if this logical expression may work to identify it. Actually, it's not. So the reason here is NA is not a real value, but just a placeholder. It's some kind of symbol. It's not a concrete value that you can use to compare. So in order to identify those NAs, uh, R has a special function, utility function, called is.NA bracket. This is how we identify it. Okay. Compute the total number of NA in our data. How many of them are missing? How many are missing? So the trick here is R represent the true. If it's a logical value, truth is uh, represent as one, is stored as one in R, internal uh, memory. So false as the zero. So if we use the sum functions to sum the entire my NA vector, my NA vector, then you will get the total number of truths. 
plus total number, and all the fours will be zero. So you add them together, you get 47. So 47 is true of an A. So that means 47 out of 100 are missing values. Okay. Now let's look at my data again. So there should be 47 NAs. If you count how many NAs there, there if you add them together, there will be 47. Now the, the NA applies to both numerical value and non-numerical value, which is character or strings. While there is another type of uh, uh, invalid uh, value, it's called NAN not a number, not a number. So how do we get a not a number? So use zero divided by zero or anything divided by zero, you will get a not a number. We know that uh, we can't get things from uh, divided by zero. So two divided by zero is infinite. So infinite is also kind of special placeholder in 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 R. So now let's try infinite minus infinite. So infinite minus infinite, we, we don't know how large infinite is. So infinite minus infinite is still considered not a number. So we don't know what the number is. So these are the two major type of uh, missing values in R. One is NA, one is NA and not a number. So this is the end of this workshop. And Next workshop, we'll be talking about the subsetting vectors. We have very long vectors and we have to shorten it, get a certain portion of the vector. How do we do the slice and the... Okay, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, see you next time.